If you want to boost your FPS from looking like this to this just by using the best fast flag settings, then watch closely. Because in today's video, we're comparing Plexity versus Froststrap to see which one actually gives the highest FPS and lowest ping after the latest Roblox update. 3. So let's see which launcher really wins. Gear Up Booster is one of the best program for optimization of your ping while you're playing Roblox. Using a wired or wireless connection, get this paid program for free from my description and enjoy your game with lower ping. Step 1. Turn off background apps to give Roblox more power. To do this, click your Start menu on Windows and type Edit Group Policy. When it appears, click on it and wait for the window to open. Once it opens, slowly follow this path inside the menu. Computer Configuration Administrative Templates Windows Components App Privacy Look for the option that says Let Windows Apps Run in the Background. Double-click it. Usually, it is set to Not Configured, which means Windows allows every app to run even when you're not using it. To stop this, select Enabled, then in the box under it, choose Force Deny. When you click Apply and then OK, Windows will no longer let unnecessary apps run in the background. This means Roblox gets more power and becomes smoother while you're gaming. Step 2. Try Plexity and turn on fast flags to improve Roblox, but Plexity might break after update. You can get all the files from my official website. I give link in the description of this video. In this second step, we will test Plexity. Plexity is a special Roblox launcher that was once extremely good. It made gaming much smoother, reduced lag, made FPS go higher, and gave Roblox more stability. But after Roblox's new update, many people say Plexity now shows errors and sometimes won't open Roblox properly. Later, we will move on to Froststrap because Froststrap works better now. But it's still important to understand Plexity because some users want to compare both. First, install Plexity using your FPS Boost Pack. Then search Plexity in your Windows search bar and open it. You will see a setup screen asking if you want light mode or dark mode. You can pick whichever you like because it doesn't affect FPS. Then you will see Roblox priority settings, which basically tells Windows how much CPU Roblox should get. If your PC is weak, choose high priority so Roblox gets extra processing power. But if you also record videos or multitask, choose normal priority to balance everything. After that, Plexity says setup is complete. Once you enter Plexity, turn on these options. Clean Roblox temp files, deletes old cache files that slow Roblox down over time. Clean Roblox logs, removes log files, Roblox makes each time it runs. Enable multi-threaded rendering. Makes Roblox use all of your CPU cores instead of just one. Allow cross-game teleportation limit. Makes switching between Roblox games faster. There is a feature called bottleneck detection, which tells you if your CPU or GPU is weak, but for now, leave it off because it's not needed. Now go to the fast flags section. This is where Plexity used to give massive FPS boosts. Turn on refresh rate unlock. Let's Roblox match your monitor. Example, if you have 144 hertz, it allows 144 FPS. Enable max frame rate, removes Roblox's FPS limit. Set texture quality to low, helps low-end PCs get better speed. Use DirectX, DX, best for Windows performance and compatibility. You also have a plugins section for extras like ping display, uninstall tools, and a tweaks tab for more optimization settings. If you want to import fast flag presets, go to Editor Settings, Add New, Paste Flags from your FPS Boost Pack, click Save. Then start Roblox through Plexity for best results. Some players get up to 200 plus FPS, but if Roblox crashes or won't launch because of the newest update, don't worry, because Froststrap fixes everything and works way better now, especially since Blockstrap removed fast flags and is no longer great for FPS. In this step, I'm going to show you a helpful tool that can make your Roblox connection more stable. First. Download the Gear Up Booster tool from its official website. I've added the official link in the description. After downloading, install it on your PC. The first thing you'll need to do is sign in with either your Facebook or Google account. On the Home tab, you'll find all the games installed on your PC. If you go to the Games tab, you can also browse through thousands of games available for optimization. To improve your network and FPS, go back to the Home tab and select the game you want to boost. For example, I'll select Roblox, click the Boost button, and the tool will automatically start optimizing the game by finding the most suitable server for you. Next, choose your server region. Always select the nearest server for the most stable connection. In my case, the Middle East server works best. Now, go to the End tab where you'll see a list of servers available in your region. You can either choose the nearest one manually or let GearUp automatically pick the best option. For the best results, I recommend keeping it on automatic. 
Finally, close the window and launch your game using Gear Up Booster. Step 3. Frost Strap. The best Roblox launcher. After update. Better than Block Strap and Plexity. You can get all the files from my official website. I give link in the description of this video. Now we are moving to Frost Strap. And this is where Roblox becomes much smoother. Frost Strap has recently become one of the most powerful Roblox launchers after updates, and it gives much better FPS, especially on average or low end computers. Download Frost Strap from your FPS Boost Pack or its official website, then open it using the Windows search bar. Click Configure Settings to begin customizing everything. Inside the Integrations tab, turn on Activity Tracking Query Server Location Playtime, Counter, Game History Menu. These help Frost Strap monitor ping, save memory, and make Roblox keep running smoothly even during long sessions. Then go to the Bootstrapper tab and set File Deletion Schedule to After 2 Months. Then turn on Cache Cleanup, Logs Move, and Enable Frost Strap Logs. These options remove old Roblox files so your game loads faster and doesn't get slowed down by junk. Next, go to the Mods tab and turn off things like Use Old Avatar Editor Background and Emulate Old Character Sounds. Keep the mouse cursor on default and emoji style on default, Twemoji. Removing extra cosmetic stuff makes Roblox lighter and faster. Then go to Fast Flag Settings. This is the main boost. Change Anti-Aliasing Quality, RMAA, to 2x so visuals are still clear but FPS is still high. Turn on settings including Pause Weather, Gray Sky, Disable Grass, Low Poly Meshes, and Set Rendering Mode to Vulkan. Vulkan makes Roblox faster and smoother on many GPUs. Next, visit the Appearance tab. Set App Theme to Dark and Window Backdrop to Mica. Leave fonts and language as default because changing them only raises GPU load. Finally, go to Fast Flags Editor. Click I know what I'm doing. Add new. Copy Fast Flags from your FPS Boost Pack. Paste them. Press OK. When you try Roblox after this, you'll notice huge gains. Frost Strap can take Roblox from 120 FPS all the way to 560 plus FPS, depending on your PC. Gameplay feels smoother, drops are reduced, and FPS becomes more stable, which is why many players now say Frost Strap is the clear winner, especially since Block Strap lost fast flags and Plexity has issues. Step 4. Make Roblox use all your CPU with Run With Affinity. You can get all the files from my official website. I give link in the description of this video. Now that your system is optimized, we need to make sure Roblox uses the entire CPU. Normally, Roblox sometimes only uses a few CPU threads, but a tool called Run With Affinity forces Roblox to use everything your processor has. Open Run With Affinity. Go to the Affinity tab, click the three dots, and browse your files. Find Roblox Player Launcher.exe in App Data, Local, Roblox. Select it. Then you will see Set Affinity. Choose the highest number shown because that number equals your CPU threads. The higher the number, the more power Roblox gets. Name it something like High Performance Roblox so you easily know which shortcut is the boosted one. Set Run Mode to Maximized so Roblox opens in full screen instantly. Click. Create shortcut and it will appear on your desktop. Now always launch Roblox using this shortcut. You can also click Run Program to test it immediately. When Roblox runs using full CPU power, you get smoother FPS, less stutter, and better gaming, especially on older PCs. Step 5. Turn off useless Windows services for more FPS. Open Windows Search. Type Services. Open it. You will see a huge list of background services. First, find Background Intelligent Transfer Service. This service downloads files using internet you aren't using, but it can cause lag when gaming. Right-click. Properties. Set Startup Type to Disabled. Apply. OK. If it's running, press Stop. Next, find Remote Desktop Services. This service lets others connect to your PC remotely. Almost no gamers need it. Right-click, Properties, Startup Type, Disabled, Apply. OK. Finally, find SysMain. It used to be called Superfetch. It preloads apps to memory, but it can cause random stutters, freezing, high disk use, and FPS drops. Right-click SysMain, Properties. Set Startup Type to Disabled. Press Stop. Apply. OK. Once these are disabled, your PC stops wasting energy and gives more of its power to Roblox, making everything run faster and easier for gaming.